What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and I will keep my webcam off for this one. Unfortunately, you won't get to see my dodgy haircut. But, uh, well, I need to get my haircut. But we will keep the webcam off because we're going to be doing training guides. I'm going to keep this short and sweet. The new Elevate the Excitement new chapter nominating contract players. A lot of people getting hyped about this. A few newcomers asking me as well about these players. So I've already bought, as you can see, Bellingham and DeSassi. And we also got Uada there as well. Now, all of these are five star, apart from this guy as a center forward. The only reason we bought him was because we were getting one of our contracts out of date. OK, now you can check your nominating contracts when they expire. If you don't get the pop up, you should. But you'll be able to check when your expired contracts go out of date there. Right. So I'm just going to give you kind of like a one page um, of each of these players training guys. Right. A lot of people ask me about this. I would say my top picks would probably be Chuck Wazy and Bellingham. And then I would say Kudos is actually quite good as well. We get his training guide as well. Um, but we are going to focus on the training guides very, very quickly, right? So we actually are going to go over to eFootballDB here. All right, so the first player that we're going to look at here is going to be that four star, okay? 27 levels, doesn't have that many great stats. To be honest with you, lads, I wouldn't really recommend him unless you have a four star that's gone out of contract or out of date. Um, 88 offensive awareness with 86 finishing and 85 acceleration with this build. Not bad. I mean, he's not that small either, even though he's only got 74 balance. He is going to be quite weak on the ball, but kind of a light Romario-esque type player. Romario light is what I would call him. We also have Tierney here as well. So there's kind of multiple versions of Tierney that you can train up. We will take a look at him in a little bit more detail if you guys want a dedicated one. But I think this build is going to be good enough. Obviously, we've gone a little bit heavy with the defending here. You can actually take that and tweak that as much as you want. Maybe 12 into defending is enough. You'll get the boost with the tackling and the defensive engagement. You already have 88 speed with 90 acceleration. You could actually go back on that dexterity a little bit, but it'll only save you two points. So it's not really worth it for the balance. I would rather have that 78 balance with to get the boost and then you can decide whether you want to turn him into um you know a really better dribbler with 80 dribbling that's a fairly good build i think for a player that you can get for free we have kudos as well this guy is a very 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 solid hole player excellent one touch pass double touch soul control and shooting player skills of course and then looking at this base right you've got 30 levels six into passing eight into dribbling seven into lower body and nine into dexterity that's going to give us these stats here that you see on screen including the highlight which is 88 balance 89 acceleration 85 speed now this is where i would kind of have a bit of a change depending on your play style right I would go if you shoot a lot. If you shoot with Messier, you're used to playing with whole players that can actually shoot and attack on all fronts. I would probably boost this up nearly max, lads, to be able to get that 82 plus boost or even 78. I would probably go with shooting if you wanted to make him an all-rounder. If you don't shoot, 74 is more than enough, right? The way that box-to-box -box players make a move now into the box, such as Bellingham, which we'll get to in a second, are slightly different than hold players. Hold players kind of hold the line a little bit better. Um, but So if you don't do a lot of curl shots or long-range shooting or stunning shots, you don't really need to boost up the shooting. Even if you do the odd stunning shot here and there, it's more than enough because it's all automated now, you know, with the stunning shots and has been for a while. So I would literally just probably pick where you want to put that in. Do you want him to be a better passer? Do you want to be... A better dribbler or do you want to mix a both you can kind of choose but you're still going to get a very solid five star for free for 15 games if you have bellingham and if you have the sassy or any of those you can actually get a really good hole player there um we also have guenduzi this guy is probably not really worth spinning for or getting for i should say because he's on d form he's a box to box and obviously if you're going to be getting a box to box get bellingham i know you can't play two bellinghams on the pitch but he's only got average stats, lads. Everything else is going to be defensive, and he doesn't have blocker or any of those defensive stats that you want. We also have De Sassi. This guy is a very, very good player. I do actually recommend him. He is a bit of a beast. He's down as a build-up, so he did have other versions before. And as you can see, um, this Monaco pack was really nice, but it had low levels. You had the standard car, which is 34 levels. Um, but this one is quite decent. It's only got 21 levels, which is a little bit of an issue. I did actually get him right we did get him and we will train him up on the on the next live stream but i do like this card and i definitely liked playing with him in a couple of the matches that i tested him out that's a nice little solid build but he's not going to be a mainstay in game level because if he had maybe 27 levels that would have been great but you can tweak a couple of bits and pieces there if you want to he's got good jump good physicality and kind of reminds me of Thiago Silva. That's the way he kind of plays without the defensive awareness, right? Same with Ansu Fati. I know Count Dooku is in the match pass. This guy is very, very solid. He was beastly in eFootball 22, but he's kind of waned since then. He is on 
B form down as a prolific winger. Excellent player skills. Excellent. That amazing run and incisive run play styles is brilliant when you're not controlling him because he makes great runs. 88 balance, 88 ball control, tight possession and 90, balance, 90 dribbling with 91 acceleration. Not much to dislike here about this card. We also have Chuck Wazy, who is an, an upgrade on... Um, I would say Fatty, who's down as a right midfielder but can play left or right. Fatty can actually play left wing only and left mid. This guy can play right mid, right wing or left wing. So I definitely think he's the pick if you're looking for a wing-based speed option. Better dribbling, better tight possession, better acceleration as well as speed. So he is a good player and there's the training build I've gone with him. Again, you can kind of tweak this depending on how you want it. If you, do, you don't need that much speed there, you can boost up the finishing to go nearly 78, 79 if you wanted to go that route. Um, but it's up to you. Now we have two quick builds of Bellingham. The first build is going to be a defensive specific build, box to box. Um, the whole player Bellingham, which is part of the premium matches, the premium player of the week, picks is better i think but this box to box version lads is a beast we did get him we played him on stream really really solid player one touch pass double touch flip flap and soul control very smooth to handle with very fluid very versatile and as a box to box if you've got a good anchor man this guy can do a really good job for you this is the defensive build that we've gone with the key there is to get that 88 aggression while also maintaining 88 physical contact that's why you've gone so heavy with that and then there is the attacking build which as you can see is going to be an extremely attacking build right nine into dexterity eight into dribbling and passing and then four into lower body shooting at five again if you don't shoot with bellingham you can decide right i'm going to pop two more into dexterity to get 80 acceleration and 88 balance and believe me he will handle like a dream if you go with that build for attacking so that is it for me, lads. I will talk to you later. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about these short and sweet training guides for all the players in the box. Other than that, don't forget to subscribe. I'll talk to you in a bit. Peace.